guess we might as well go load up on the trailer. All right, let's do it. All right, okay. Yep. when we used to have the uh, video camera and the tripod like sticking out of the side of the tractor. Yeah. Yeah, that was funny. It's good times. Back in the day. Now we're in the uh, 21st century and we have a GoPro. Yeah, I guess, let's see, we're only about five years behind. I guess so, but I don't know. I see all these cool videos of people like going skiing with their GoPros or something and I'm wondering if we could do any like really cool tricks with Johnny or something. <laughs> well, what kind of a trick would be really cool with Johnny? I don't know. I don't, people do like flips and stuff like that. Well, I'm hoping that Johnny doesn't do very many flips. Well, you might have a point about that. So up there you can see our uh, new truck. Have you named the truck yet, Dad? I have not named the truck. I was thinking maybe like, it has to start with an R and an I. So we got like Rick, Rick the Ridgeline. Um, I don't know. Rudy. Rudy. Isn't there a movie called Rudy? Is that like? I don't know. I don't know, I feel like there is. <laughs> I feel like I had to watch it at school for some reason. Dad, have you done much hauling with your new truck yet? With Johnny on it? No. Uh, the only thing we've done is the video that we put together. All right. This is the first uh, real job that we're gonna be taking Johnny to with the new truck. Well, that's exciting. So how do you make sure that Johnny doesn't move around while in transit? Well. I make sure that I have the loader down, and then I put this particular strap here across the, the front. All right. And that's just to kind of hold him down good. The more important part is in the back to keep him from going forward. Right? Yeah, because- It's not so much about acceleration, it's about a sudden stop that you're really worried about. Once the momentum gets going. If you'd happen to hit something, then whatever's in your truck or on your trailer can be suddenly lurched forward. Right. And it's one thing to hit something in front of you, it's another thing to have your payload hit you. Yeah. So that's not good. So, uh, momentum is defined by kilograms times meters over seconds. So, Johnny has a lot of kilograms, a lot more kilograms than you and I might have. And I don't think there's gonna be any issue because we usually travel in miles per hour. Well, we're not going to have any issue with that. Right. Well, see what you got to do is you got to use some like Google calculator to be like miles per hour to meters per second. Oh really? I just fit, I assumed that these meters per second were zero. Well, well, we would hope, but unfortunately no. The really frustrating thing is when somebody on your physics homework intentionally gives you a problem like your dad's traveling down the highway at 60 miles per hour with a tractor on the trailer. Find the velocity in meters per second and the momentum in meters and kilograms meters per second. Ah. And you're like, well, I got the tractor weight in pounds. Well, usually. The, in miles per hour. And usually the questions are more like your dad's traveling down the road at such and such meters per second. And I just stopped right there and said, I've never traveled at meters per second. <laughs> That's true. So it must be somebody else's dad. That the, <laughs> can that be the answer? Is that a multiple choice? <laughs> Unfortunately, it's a free response and they only give you four shots or else you don't get your points. So answering it must, it must not be my dad. Is, is and so, well, I tried that once and it, it didn't quite go too well for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, some of the other ridiculous questions. Once I had one that was like, you are standing on a comet. Um, going, traveling around the sun, and you're like, what? I'm standing on a comet? <laughs> like, you're currently going 
three e eight kilograms 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 <laughs> meters per second. <laughs> And, and they're like pointing the camera at you. I cannot get you to be on camera. Hey, this 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 is a new fangled technology, technological system here. Okay. So you're you're standing on you're a standing comet. You're standing on a comet, and then your friend is standing on another comet going okay. around the sun. And I'm thinking, man, what kind of friend are you if you just put your friend out on a comet? Like <laughs> Like, hey, Dad, do you want to just go stand on comets? I don't know, but then it's like, calculate the gravitational force that you have on each other. And like, well, gee, I don't... And I'm paying for this? Yeah, you're paying for that. Hmm. Okay, well, we're loaded up. Let's go. The great thing about coming home is that mom takes pity on me because I can't eat any dessert at college and she makes me like pies and brownies and stuff. That's pretty good looking pie and brownies for no gluten. I know, right? I can't. The cherry pie, cherry pie with no gluten. Cherry brownies pie no gluten. and brownies with no gluten. That brownie looks like it's uh, collapsed a little bit. but it, I it It's good. sunk. <laughs>